Hey y'all, it's Dan and Les with Scratch Made Homestead. We're up in the country today. It's uh, Friday the 26th, I think. Something like that. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we have been uh, tagged in a collab. Uh, it was started by uh, Rose at Wholesome Roots. Hey Rose. Hey guys. Um, and then uh, Danny and Wanda at Deep South Homestead tagged us. So this is a collab with them. Uh, 10 reasons why we homestead. We came over here by the uh, wood pile because that's kind of one of the first things we started doing. And um, so here we are. Number one, get out of the city. Uh, and it could really be all 10 reasons, y'all. For no other reason but that. Just get out of the city. Don't want to live in the city anymore. No. Nope. Bye bye, city. So we're working on it, y'all. What do we'll you think? We'll be here soon. Yep. Okay. I agree. The second reason is we wanted a simpler way of life. You know, we have a business in town, we uh, run the rat race uh, hard and heavy sometimes. It's just great to be able to have a place to come to to just relax and um, have a simpler way of life, number two. So, number three, there's nothing more relaxing than being on the homestead. And I know some of y'all are going to chuckle at that, but let me um, just uh, put out a little disclaimer here. Uh, Danny and I are not up here all the time, on you know, 24-7. And um, so, yes, to a certain degree, as hard as we work in the city, we are looking uh, for a getaway. Uh, now, having said that, we are making it a homestead, y'all. We love it up here, and we... We are progressing every day. Uh, we do new things up here to um, get us more towards our goal of getting out of the city and being on the homestead. So, what was number three? Nothing more relaxing than being on the homestead. Number three. Reason number four. We want to be able to grow our own food. Sure, you don't have to be a homesteader to, uh, to grow your own food. But it sure is nice to have some space available to be able to grow the various things that you really like to have. And what's better to eat than food that you have grown yourself? Number five, we wanted to have animals. Now, I don't know if bees are animals or not, y'all, but it was a good place to do this video since we don't have animals up here yet, uh, except for Gucci and Dixie. But we do want to get chickens and goats, um, maybe some quail, uh, guineas, things like that. So, yep, number five, we want to have animals. Number six. The number six reason why we want a homestead is for self-sufficiency. We, you know, we're completely off the grid here. Um, and this gives us an opportunity to develop our infrastru infrastructure so that we can, uh, we are not dependent on the grid to uh, sustain ourselves. We have the ability to grow fruit, uh, grow a garden, do the different things, have animals, have water systems, uh, all the different things that go into having a homestead. You're being self-sufficient. Number seven. If there should ever be a life-changing event, whether it be a hurricane, a tornado, or whatever, I do not want to have to rely on government to feed me, clothe me, help me with water, whatever the case may be. I can get out here and I can take care of myself. So, number seven, I don't want to rely on anybody else, especially government. Number eight. We wanted to get back to nature. We have 26 acres here. Um, just love listening to the wind blowing through the trees, to the birds chirping, able to hear turkeys gobbling, feeding the deer, uh, growing. We love planting plants and trees and all sorts of things. Just getting back to nature. Number eight. Number nine, for future generations. Danny and I have two boys and they love it up here. 
and um, I don't know if y'all have seen my other videos on my little oak trees, but this is one of them. And I said in that video that, you know, I won't be able to see these trees grow up and be all beautiful and uh, shade giving, but my grandkids will, my great grandkids will. And that really matters a lot to us. So number nine for future generations. Reason number 10 is we wanted to be able to make a contribution to this earth. You know, we've been blessed to be able to have this property and you know, this is something that we are accomplishing day by day with our family. And uh, we just want to be really good stewards of this property. And at the end of our life, we want to be able to look back and say, we, we did, contributed. Yeah, we made a positive contribution to this earth in this little square of our life. And that's it in the nutshell, y'all. Dan and Les, Scratch, Scratch Made, made Homestead. Homestead. Peace. Okay, so All part right. of the collaboration is that we need to tag a few people to try to keep this going. Rose at uh, Wholesome Roots, thank you for getting it started. She tagged uh, Danny and Wanda at Deep South Homestead, yep. and Danny and Wanda tagged us, so we're trying gotcha. to keep it going. Mm -hmm. And we're going to tag David at Bama Homestead. Um, Krista, she's a bottler. Linda with Linda's Pantry. Mike and Jen, Pratt. Pratt Family Homestead. Melissa, Homestead Mama. And Tommy, Tommy. with Off Grid, Off Grid Nation. So we hope you guys keep this going. We'd be interested to hearing what your responses are. Y'all have a great day. This is Dan. And Les. Scratch Made Homestead. Y'all have a great day. Peace, y'all.